The Phillips curve describes the relationship between inflation and unemployment. The theory claims economic growth causes an increase in inflation, which in turn should lead to more jobs and less unemployment. So as inflation increases, unemployment decreases. Because rising prices is a sign of an economy growing. And a growing economy provides more jobs. This assumption, however, describes the Phillips curve only in the short run. In the long run, the Phillips curve becomes a vertical line. It lies at the level of potential GDP or at the state of natural unemployment. This is because in the long run, there will be no trade-off between unemployment and inflation. This means at any level of price or economic growth, employment level will remain the same at the natural state of unemployment. For more on the natural state of unemployment, I suggest you watch my previous video on potential GDP. This explains the short-run Phillips curve. When the economy is doing well, the aggregate demand increases. As people are willing to spend more money, suppliers also increase production, requiring them to hire more people. However, prices rise or inflation increases. Now in the long run, since prices are high, workers will demand for higher wages. Prices of supplies and raw materials also go up. This will increase price levels even more while production decreases because of rising wages and costs. Of course, there will be no need for additional workers when production decreases. Some workers may even be retrenched. So in the long run, prices will go up further and the unemployment rate, it goes up. This is totally detached from what the Phillips curve represents. When the government makes the economy grow by increasing GDP, by increasing aggregate demand, we see the equilibrium will once again end up in the long-run aggregate supply curve. In the long run, there will be no trade-off between inflation and unemployment. At any price level, the unemployment level will be the same at the natural state of unemployment. 